Preventative health visits should begin during adolescence to start a dialogue and establish an environment where a patient can feel good about taking responsibility for her own reproductive health and feel confident that her concerns will be addressed in a confidential setting. Because menarche is such an important milestone in physical development, clinicians should educate adolescent girls and their caretakers about what to expect of the first menstrual period and the range for normal cycle length of subsequent menses. Welcome, I'm Sarah from Her Smart Choice. Today we will talk about an important question, how to differentiate normal menstrual cycle from an abnormal one. Young girls and their parents or guardians frequently have difficulty assessing what constitutes normal menstrual cycles or patterns of bleeding. By age 15 years, 98% of females will have had menarche. Although menstrual cycles vary considerably during the first few years after menarche, the majority of cycles in adolescence last 21 to 45 days with 2 to 7 days of menstrual bleeding. By the third postmenarchal year, 95% of cycles fall into this range. The average adult menstrual cycle lasts 28 days to 35 days, with 4 to 6 days of menstrual bleeding. Adolescents with regular menses have cyclical estrogen secretion that permits orderly growth and shedding of the endometrium, estrogen withdrawal bleeding, even in the absence of ovulation. In addition, the secretion of progesterone associated with the occasional ovulatory cycle in adolescents with regular menses helps to stabilize endometrial growth and permits more complete shedding. Now let's talk about abnormal uterine bleeding. What is it and why does it happen? A number of medical conditions can cause abnormal uterine bleeding, characterized by unpredictable timing and variable amount of flow. Although a long interval between cycles is common in adolescents due to anovulation, it is statistically uncommon for girls and adolescents to remain amenoric for more than three months or 90 days. Abnormal uterine bleeding, AUB, may be caused by ovulatory dysfunction and bleeding patterns can range from amenorrhea to irregular heavy menstrual bleeding. The most common cause of AUB in adolescents during the initial one to two years of menstruation are anovulatory cycles, which are related to immaturity of the hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis. Other common causes of AUB in adolescents include pregnancy, pregnancy-related problems, bleeding disorders, polycystic ovary syndrome, thyroid dysfunction, hypothalamic dysfunction, example related to stress, exercise, underweight, acute weight loss, or obesity, hormonal or intrauterine contraception, and infection. More than one cause may contribute or exacerbate AUB in a given adolescence. One, what is considered as excessive menstrual bleeding? Excessive menstrual bleeding may be prolonged more than seven days or of increased volume, more than 80 milliliters per cycle. Because neither patients nor clinicians can accurately estimate the volume of blood loss, excessive menstrual bleeding is often defined clinically, for example, soaks a pad or tampon more than every two hours, interferes with activities, wakes from sleep, and or interferes with physical, emotional, social, and or material quality of life. Two, what is the origin of bleeding? Excessive bleeding is typically from the uterus, whereas light bleeding, staining, or spotting may be from any site along the genital tract. Postcoital bleeding suggests bleeding from the cervix or other lower genital tract source. Bleeding that occurs solely with urination or defecation suggests a urinary or gastrointestinal source. Three, what it might be associated with. Heavy menstrual bleeding, commonly associated with anovulation also has been associated with the diagnosis of a coagulopathy, including von Willebrandt's disease, platelet function disorders, and other bleeding disorders, or other serious problems, including hepatic failure and rarely malignancy. To chart your menses may be beneficial, especially if your menstrual history is too vague or considered to be inaccurate. If you found this information helpful, Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video. If the video was useful, please leave a yes comment below. If you have additional questions regarding this same subject, leave your question in the comment section below as well. 
A healthcare provider can discuss your options and help you make an informed decision. There's more great information at www.hersmartchoice.com or you can call 818-697-6955 now. We are available 24-7. Your life, your decision, your smart choice. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for watching.